mathematics lesson indices we have our first problem simplify 3x raised to power 2 times 8x raised to power 6 divide by 4x raised to the power negative 2 in this problem we shall collect the coefficients and then the x so the first coefficient here is 3 and the second coefficient is a 8 so times 8 and the third coefficient is 4 so we have it divide by 4 and then we now collect the variable x so that is x raised to power 2 times x raised to power 6 then divide by x raised to power negative 2 so we now simplify the coefficients before we simplify the variable x so 3 times 8 is 24 24 divided by 4 gives 6 so simplifying the coefficient we have 6 then bring the variables we have the first variable x raised to the power 2 since this is multiplication and we have 6 here as a power we have to add a power plus 6 and since this is the division so we are going to subtract negative 2 so here we still have our 6 then this is x raised to the power 2 plus 6 since negative times negative gives positive so you have it as plus 6 so we now have 6x raised to the power 2 plus 6 gives 8 and 8 plus 2 gives 10 so we have 6x raised to the power 10 so this problem has been simplified to give the answer 6x raised to the power 10 problem number 2 Simplify open bracket 2x close bracket raised to the power of 2 times 3x raised to the power of negative 4. To solve this problem, we are going to expand this. To expand 2x all raised to the power 2, we have a 2 squared times x squared. Then multiply by 3x times x raised to the power negative 4 so we now collect the constant terms the constant terms here 2 raised to the power 2 which is 4 multiplied by 3 gives 12 so I have 12 times x raised to the power of 2 because of this multiplication we have it as plus negative 4 so we have 12 x raised to the power of 2 plus negative 4 is the same thing as 2 minus 4 and 2 minus 4 is negative 2 so we now have it as negative 2 and our final answer here is 12x raised to the power of negative 2 problem number 3 we are seeing to simplify 36 raised to the power of 1 over 2 times 27 raised to the power of negative 2 over 3 to solve this problem we have to remove this negative power and to remove the negative power is to apply the law of reciprocal so we have it 36 raised to the power of half times the law of reciprocal here is to take 1 over 27 raised to the power of 2 over 3 so we have removed this negative power by taking the reciprocal of the whole expression so from here we now apply the root law this fractional power we are going to have a root and the root we are going to have is going to be based on the denominator of the fractional power so we are going to have the square root of 36 so this 2 is taken care of the square root and the times 1 over here this denominator here is 3 so we are going to have the cube root of 
27 raised to the power of 2. So the 2 here is the power and the 3 here is the root. So to find the square root of 36, we have it as a 6 times 1 over cube root of 27 is 3. So raised to the power of uh, 2. So we now have it as 6 over 9. Since 3 raised to the power of 2 is 9. So we simplify further. 3 divides both 6 and 9 to leave us with our answer as 2 over 3 as the final answer from the simplification. Problem 4. Simplify 2.25 raised to the power negative 1.5 times 0 0.125 raised to the power 1 over 3. So we shall express all the decimal numbers as fractions. So here we have 2.25. Expressing it as fraction, we have 9 over 4. Then raised to the power of 1.5 is 3 over 2. So we have it raised to the power of negative 3 over 2 times 0 0.125 in fraction is 1 over 8. Then raised to the power of 1 over 3. So here again, we need to remove this negative index. To remove the negative sign here, we take the reciprocal of 9 over 4. And the reciprocal of 9 over 4 is 4 over 9. So we now have the index as positive 3 over 2, then times 1 over 8 raised to power 1 over 3. Now we now apply this uh, fractional index. In the application of the fractional index, we first consider the denominator. The denominator here is 2, so we express it as a square root. Because it is 2, we are expressing it as square root of 4 over 9. Then the numerator will be the power, so we have it raised to the power of 3. So here, the 3 over 2, the 3 is being represented as the power here, while the 2 is represented as the square root. Then times, in this case also, the denominator here is 3 so we shall have it as cube root of 1 over 8 since the numerator is 1 we don't need to put it raised to power 1 since any number raised to power 1 is that number so we have it like that so we now have our answer as square root of 4 is 2 2 raised to the power of 3 gives 8 then Square root of 9 is 3. 3 raised to the power of 3 is 27. We have it. This simplify this to give us 8 over 27 times. We know cube root of 1 is a 1. And the cube root of 8 is 2. So we have it as 1 over 8. So 2 goes here to give us 1. 2 goes into 8 gives 4. So we have our answer as 4 over 27 as the final answer from the simplification of this uh, expression. Question 5. This is an example of equations in index form. So we are to solve the equation 4 raised to power x is equal to 2 raised to power x times 1 over 8. So it, the problem requires that we express all the terms in the question as index form and the index form of base 2. So 4 here can be expressed as 2 raised to power 2 and 2 raised to power 2 raised to power x will give us 2 raised to power 2x. We already have this one in index form of base 2 so we have it as 2 raised to the power x then expressing a 1 over 8 in index form since 8 is 2 raised to the power of 3 
and this 1 over 8 will give us 2 raised to the power of negative 3 and this negative is coming as a result of this fraction 1 over so that will take care of the negative here as we have just experienced in the previous uh, problem so now that we have them in index form so we still keep the left hand side the right, the right hand side shall be simplified to become 1 so to do that we take the common base the common base is 2 so we have to pick the first power which is x because of this multiplication we shall add the next power and the next power here is a negative 3 so we have it as plus negative 3 so from here now the, now, the expression at the right hand side has the same base with expression at the left hand side so they have the common base of 2 so the base will go and uh, the powers will be equated so we now equate 2x is equal to x and plus times minus gives minus so we have it as minus 3 collect the like terms so that will give us 2x minus x is equal to negative 3 so 2x minus x gives x and our x is equal to negative 3 by that we would have solved the problem problem 6 find the value of x if 3 raised to the power 2x plus 3 all over 3 times 8 raised to the power x minus 3 is equal to 1. So considering this problem, we are going to cross multiply. By cross multiplication, we say 3 times 8, 81 raised to the power x minus 3, we multiply it by 1. So that we now have this. 3 raised to the power 2x plus 3 is equal to the denominator since cross multiplying we bring the numerator on the, on the left hand side and the denominator goes to the right hand side by multiplying by this 1 so here we are going to again express every term as index so here we have the left hand side already on index form and uh, equal to 3 raised to the power 1 multiply by the 8 1 is 3 raised to the power 4 then raised to the power of x minus 3 then we still maintain the left hand side for now here we are going to make the right hand side okay we now have this 3 raised to the power 1 and expand these uh, brackets expanding the bracket we have it as 4 times x giving us 4x and 4 times negative 3 gives negative 12 so we now simplify this right hand side into one expression so maintaining the left hand side we have the common base 3 raised to the power 1 because of this multiplication we have addition again then we now have 4x minus 12 so here we still maintain the left hand side 3 raised to the power 2x plus 3 then here collecting the like terms we will have 4x then 1 minus 12 gives minus 11 so we now have it equal to 3 raised to the power 4x then minus 11 we have common base on both sides so we now equate the powers the indices equating the indices 2x plus 3 is equal to 4x minus 11 collecting the like terms I can have 2x minus 4x is equal to negative 11 minus 3 so this will give me negative 2x negative 11 minus 3 gives negative 14 and from here if we divide both sides by negative 2 we have x is equal to 7 that will be the end of the solution and uh, the value of x here as required by the question 
is 7. Question 7. Solve the equation 25 raised to the power 2x minus 3 times 125 raised to the power of 1 minus x is equal to 1. So again, we are going to express every term here as index form. And the base is going to be 5. As 25 can be written as 5 squared, then raised to the power of 2x minus 3 times 5 raised to the power 3. Since 125 is 5 raised to the power 3, then raised to the power of 1 minus x is equal to 1 can be written as 5 raised to the power of 0. Since any number to the power of 0 it is 1, so we are choosing 5 raised to the power 0 because every other number here has a base of 5. Now we now expand the brackets. This is 5 raised to the power 2 times 2x gives 4x, and 2 times negative 3 gives negative 6, then times 5 raised to the power of 3 times 1, 3. And 3 times negative x gives negative 3x, which is equal to 5 raised to the power of 0. We are going to express the left-hand side as a single expression. Since they have common base here, so we pick the base. So we have 5 raised to the power 4x minus 6. Because of this multiplication, we have addition again. Then we now add a second power or index of the expression in, the, in this. So we still have it is equal to 5 raised to the power 0. Now, here we make this simplify the indices. So we have 5. And here, collecting the like terms, the terms with x will be simplified. That's 4x minus 3x, which will give us x. And the terms without x will be simplified. Negative 6 plus 3 gives negative uh, 3. We still have an answer equal to 5 raised to the power 0. And uh, here, we know that the base, they have, since they have common base of 5, so the indices are equal. So we now have x minus 3 is equal to 0. Taking negative 3 to the right hand side, we have our x is equal to 3, uh, which concludes the solution to the problem.